In this video, I will give you a quick intro to ThirdWeb. ThirdWeb is a development platform for Web3. With ThirdWeb, you can create Web3 applications quickly and easily. It's like Firebase for Web3. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Eat the Blocks, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. With Third Web, you can build many kind of projects like NFT collection, DAOs, tokens, airdrop, blockchain games, and more. Third Web provides three kind of tools to build your Web3 applications: smart contracts, a SDK to easily interact with a smart contract from the front end, and ready-to-use UI component to quickly build your front end. Third Web also gives you advanced analytics for your project. It's free to use. You only pay a percent of the royalty you receive, if any. Currently, Third Web supports Ethereum. Polygon, Avalanche, and Phantom, with support for Solana and Flow coming soon. To get started, sign into Third Web using your wallet. Inside the Third Web dashboard, you can create a new project. It will deploy a smart contract for your project, and you will have to confirm the transaction with your wallet. Each project can contain multiple modules, which provide additional features. When you add a module to your project, it deploys a new smart contract responsible for the module and it links it to the original smart contract of your project. For each module, you can configure it using the dashboard of the third web or through the SDK. Modules also allow you to manage roles. You can easily assign and revoke roles such as admin, poser, minter, etc. Once you have deployed and configured the smart contract part, you can work on the front end of your application. To interact with the smart contract from the front end, you can use one of the three SDK of Third Web in JavaScript, Python, and Go. For this example, we will use the JavaScript SDK. You will need to install the SDK and the Ethers library. Then you import the libraries in your code. You instantiate a connection to the blockchain with the Third Web SDK. And after to interact with your smart contract, you will need to instantiate a module object and pass the address of the module contract. You can get this address from your dashboard and once you have the module object you can trigger specific action and all of this is done without writing any smart contract code so that's it for this quick intro to third web besides third web there are other development platforms for web3 like moralis and next if you want to have a quick look at moralis you can check out this other video on my channel i will see you there bye